Hi guys. Good morning. It is 9.50 in the morning and I'm about to take Mr. Marley here to the vet to get his senior blood work panel done uh, before his dental next week on the 27th. They said they needed him to come in a week before because they send it out to uh, get the results. So we are headed to the vet this morning and then um, this afternoon Marley goes to the, or no, I just said Marley. <laughs> Mozzie goes to the vet at 1.45 to get um, his blood work done to check his liver enzymes since he's been off his steroid now for uh, one week. So they're gonna check those again. And if those liver enzymes are not done, I'm not gonna let them, hey, let the doctor call you. No, I wanna talk to her face to face. And um, yeah, I just wanna talk to her face to face and get some info. So I'm hoping they're better. I hope she's gonna say they're going down. Um, we shall see. So, yes, you look so excited, Marley. You look so excited to go to the vet. <laughs> All right, let's get this appointment done. Marley's all done. He got a poke for his blood and he got a urinal. He got some urine taken for urinalysis too for the senior panel. Sorry guys, I gotta turn on my air conditioning. So I apologize if you can hear the fan, but it is already hot. It's only a little after 10. I think it's supposed to be 87 today and humid. Oh, I would take the 87 just without the humidity. Right, Marley? Right, Marley? All right, I think I'm going to go get me some breakfast, and then I got to go home, let the dogs out to do their business if they need to, and I'm going to run and buy my daughter a birthday gift. Her birthday is Friday. She'll be 23 years old, and we were out to, well, I better not say anything. She might watch this video. Can't say anything. I'll show you. <laughs> I'll show you on her birthday what I got her. I can't see anything because she might watch it. Sometimes she watches and sometimes she doesn't. And I don't want her to know since I'm posting this on Wednesday. She'll find out. Okay, guys. We'll be back. All right, guys. I picked up Mozzie. We're off with dog number two today to the vet. <laughs> Mozzie's none too happy. He knows whenever I wash his beard and I don't wash anybody else's beard. He starts getting nervous. He knows he's going somewhere without the other boys. <laughs> yes. So, got his face washed. I was running late because I went to... Remember I said I was going to go to the store to pick up that item for my daughter for her birthday Friday. And they had it still. And I was kind of worried because there was only one left. But they had it. So, I picked that up. And then I was on the hunt for a picture frame for the drawing of Milo that Isabella from Poland drew. I wanted to get the uh, get the same kind of frame that the other drawings were in, so it would match. And I could have swore I got them at Hobby Lobby. Went to Hobby Lobby, didn't see anything like them. So then I went to the Christmas tree shops, didn't see them. Went to um, Big Lots. I was I was hitting all the stores that I normally shop at for a picture frame. Nothing at Big Lots. So I was like, well, I gotta go pick up a picture I printed, so let's head to Myers. So I looked at Myers, and I found the brown frames, but I was looking for the grayish blue frame to kind of make them even, and they were out of them, and they don't know if they're getting them back. So I had to pick out different frames. <laughs> and then, of course, I started browsing around, and then I looked at the clock, and I'm like, oh my goodness, I gotta get going. I still gotta wash Mozzie's beard. I gotta blow dry his beard. And of course, after I washed his beard, I fed him, let him outside, he came in and he had a big old drink. So then his beard was even more wet. So then it took longer to blow dry his beard, which it's not even Mozzie, Mozzie, 
it's not even totally dry. Look at it, it's already getting messy. <laughs> His beard is the worst to keep nice and straight looking. The worst. So it is 134. The good th and his appointment's at 145. The good thing about where I live, my vet is two minutes down the road, and this animal uh, surgical uh, center is about 10 minutes down the road. So we shouldn't be late, even though I'm out of breath, running around like a mad woman, trying to get everything put away and then get him ready to go and out in the car and get the other boys back in their crates, which they did not want to be back in their crates because um, they were already in their crates for about an hour and a half while I was gone. So they were like, no, we don't want to go back in our crates. <laughs> So I'm gonna have to let them out and play for a long time with them since I've been running around a lot today. So, all right, let's go get your blood work done, Mozzie. And let's both pray for good results. Yes, we want good results today. Yes, all right guys, we'll be back. All right, we're waiting for the doctor. Mozzie did not like getting his temperature taken. Did you, Moz? But guess what we got to see? We got to see a giant schnauzer in the waiting room. He came over and checked you out, didn't he? <laughs> he was so pretty. Yeah. Mozzie's staring at the door. He's looking for an escape route. <laughs> I thought he was going to hide under there. <laughs> it took go. All right. We're waiting on the doctor. What do you want? What do you want? Are you starving to death? Are you starving to death? <laughs> okay, we're home from the vet. We've been home for about five hours now. Um, and I've just had time, just now, to pick up the camera to let you guys know what happened. So, um, sorry, it's a little dark. It's raining out. Um, Mozzie's blood work came back great. His levels are going down from the last time he was there. Um, if you, let me recap for a minute. Last time he went um, was when he was on his steroids. He had been on his steroids for about a month, if I remember right. And they wanted to check his blood levels after he had been on the steroids for a month. Um, so when he got his blood work back, his liver enzymes were at 7,000. They were really high. And they told me that um, his body's... Uh, sensitive to this we need to get him off so we started tapering him off and they said when he's been off them for about a week they wanted to recheck his uh, blood so they did that today they actually did a full panel checked a bunch of other stuff because they haven't since June so they um, checked a lot of other things uh, besides just the liver and um, they came back at 2500 she said it's great news they come down quite a bit and she wants to have him rechecked in two months. She said, I don't see any reason why these aren't going to continue to go down. So she said, let's check them again in two months and see where we're at. So I am very relieved <laughs> to say the least after she told me what they were at last time. Um, so I'm very relieved. And she said that, like I said, she doesn't foresee any reason why they won't continue to go down. So I'm very happy. And um, tonight I'll be able to sleep better because <laughs> I was really worried about today, especially when I was sitting in there um, for 45 minutes after they had drawn his blood. I was thinking, what's taking so long? Are, are they like surprised by the blood work? Are they gonna come back and tell me some bad news? Um, but it was quite the opposite. I even called my husband and said, are you done with your appointment? And he said, yeah, I'm about to get off the expressway. Why? And I said, well, I'm still here waiting for the results. I said, could you come here and sit with me <laughs> and wait with me? And he said, okay, I'll be there in five minutes. So he showed up and Mozzie was elated to see him, to say the least. It was like he was hugging him, like, please, dad, get me out of here. <laughs> get me out of this place. So he was so happy to see him. And of course, after my husband got there, she walked in two minutes later, of course. So yes, um, I'm very happy that they've gone down so much. And I hope when he goes in again, I think he goes in the middle of October. Um, I'm hoping they'll be down even more. So yes, 
I'm, I'm glad this ordeal. I mean, he's still got to take his medicine for the rest of his life, his three medications, but she said there's no reason he shouldn't live uh, the rest of his life normal and happy. So, and live quite a while. So, okay. Oh, I for almost forgot. I wanted to share a couple things I got in the mail before I end the video. Um, this first thing I got a couple weeks ago, and I keep forgetting to share it. And I apologize, Karen. She sent me this nice card and she sent a couple photos. Um, this one is of Stanley, who's uh, the Bichon, and then Rags, who is the mini Schnauzer. Let me make sure I got that right. Yes, <laughs> Stanley and Rags. They're so adorable. And then she sent one of her kitty mittens. He's got that typical, why are you taking my picture kitty look? <laughs> And then today in the mail, um, I received a letter from Tracy and she also sent a drawing her granddaughter did, who is 12, who did a great job drawing the schnauzer. I couldn't have done as good a job as you. That's wonderful. And she also colored a picture that says, you had me at wolf. So tell your granddaughter, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. She also sent a picture of uh, her dog, Boomer who is so adorable. And she also sent me this vinyl sticker of a schnauzer and it says schnauzer mom. I'll have to stick that on my car window. So thank you, Tracy, so much. And, to, and again, tell your granddaughter, I really appreciate her drawing that and coloring that picture. So, all right, I'm gonna end the video. These boys are upset because it's past their dinner time and they don't understand what's going on because it's been a busy evening, so I've got to feed them and go clean up dinner um, on the stove. So I will see you guys in the next video. If you're new, please subscribe, and we'll catch you again tomorrow. Bye.